In this video, we're going to be going over exercise 4.22 print acronym. So in this problem, our parameter is going to be a phrase with at least one word, and we're going to need to need to print the first letter of each word. In the example they give us, the parameter is Breath of the Wild, so we're going to be printing capital B, lowercase o n t, and capital W. So I'm going to start by creating our method. Just like in 4.21, we're going to be printing an answer instead of returning anything. So I'm just going to write void instead of a data type. So public static void print acronym. And inside of our parentheses, we're going to only take in one parameter, a string that I'm just going to name phrase. I'm going to start the actual program by creating an empty string variable uh, named ands. Just like that. Since I know that each string parameter is going to contain at least one word, I'm just going to add the first character in my parameter to my string ands. So ands plus or equals phrase dot char at zero. So, the char at method is basically going to just find that character, the character at position, and then this is going to be the position. So remember that in Java, whenever you have positions in either strings or arrays, it's gonna start at zero and not one. So I'm adding the very first character of the string phrase to my string ands. Now we're going to use a for loop and go through each individual character in my string phrase. We know that we're going to be basically be adding every character that comes directly after a space since a space signifies the start of a new word. To do that in each loop iteration, we're going to check if that character in that space is an empty space using the char at method here. So let's do four, i equals zero, i is less than phrase dot length. Remember a string dot length, that dot length method is going to return the length of that, uh, that, that string. I right, plus plus. And we're going to check if the position at I is going to be an empty character. So if phrase.char at I equals equals the character. Remember that when we're uh, making characters, we want to use single quotes instead of double quotes. Characters are not the same thing as strings. And if it turns out that the character at char at um, position i is an empty string, then we're going to add the character in the position directly after that to my string ends. So ends plus or equals phrase dot char at i plus one, just like that. After the for loop is done, we can just print ends. So system ends, and we should be good to go. And that's how to solve print acronym.